All right, so this is Halloween Spirit. There you go, Beetlejuice with the movie coming out and all. Hey guys, welcome to the channel. Uh, we're just gonna quickly talk about a Hue Forge in 3D printing. So if I say 3D printing, you're kind of used to seeing things like this. 3D printed, really good, pretty solid PLA. Now, a trend that's been happening over the last X amount of months, maybe a year now, is something called Hue Forge. Now, Hue Forge, uh, in a simple way to explain it, is it takes a 2D image into an uh, application called Hue Forge, and you can add layers to it. So it appears 2D, um, but done on a 3D printer. So let me show you an example of something that I've printed out. So this is, as you can see how thin that is, this is Ninja Turtle. Now that is rough, that is 3D printed, so black being the first layer, and then gray, and then obviously finishing up with purple. These look amazing. This is a box that I've printed. And you can see all the Harry Potter symbols there. Now, this one I printed just recently and I think it's amazing. This next one it blends Hue Forge with actual traditional 3D printing as well. So Lord of the Rings, I have Sauron with the ring. Hopefully the camera will pick that up. But you get the drift anyway. So that's the Eye of Sauron with the ring, the one ring. So that's still Hue Forge with the ring printed on top. Now what we're going to do is just have a quick look how to do this. Um, Make a World again. There's other places you can find Hue Forge, but Make a World is my favorite. All right, we'll just type in a Hue Forge, Lord of the Rings. <clears throat> All right, so these are Hue Forge. You can see the different styles that people have done. The one we're looking at is this one here as the example that I showed before. Different profiles, I've got the A1. Um, there's this one here that says without the ring, so it's just the flat Hue Forge. Uh, and then there's this one here that I did. Now, if you have a look there, it's telling you the four different colors. It's a, a black, a yellow, a red, and kind of an off yellow as well. But let's open up in Bamboo Studios. As always, just click the button, it'll load up. All right, so it looks black. You're wondering what the heck is going on. Let me just change this to the A1, use modified. Okay, so with the colors of choice that they've given, we can simply slice this and there we go. It'll give you a warning that some things are probably floating regions. Don't worry about that. The layers are so small that it's not really gonna affect. So that's kind of what it looks like there. And roughly around four hours on the A1, which was about right. So something that I did for myself, um, obviously assign it to the colors that you have. The red, I had the red. I've changed it because it's printing at the moment something else. So let's just say that's red. What I did, I changed this one here to gold. Now let's hope I've got the right one because there's, remember there's two types of yellow. One's gonna affect the ring. And the other one, if you zoom in, you can see it's affected the flame of behind. So let me swap these two around. Let's go yellow here and orange there. And let's re-slice that. All right, so now, assuming the orange is representing the gold PLA, and that's pretty much it. So remember, this was a simulation of the colors that I did. Realistically, you'd be on this page showing what rolls of filament you actually have and where they're attached to, whether it's slot at one, two, three, or four. So again, you can change the colors here, but realistically you want to be matching what you have here to avoid confusion. All right, so that's been sliced. You would go to the print plate. I won't do that now because obviously it's printing over there. But like I said, once you've printed it out, you will end up with that, which is amazing. Let me bring that a bit closer again. And you could actually frame, you could pinch a frame as well. Um, comes out absolutely amazing. Let me just go back for a second to here. Um, if I go on to, this is one of my favorite artists, Lo-Fi, or Lo-Fi. 
layers. This person on Maker World, these are all Hue Forge. They're already done, just match the colors, print and play. And that's where I got this little assortment box. So you've got three layers here, three slots there, but you can actually do different inserts, half and half, whatever the case may be. There's some awesome models here, so definitely go check out Lo-Fi Layers. Um, this, I want to print all of these. To be honest, I want to print all of these. I have printed quite a few. You can do different sizes as well. Um, and you can do frames as well, which he has on this page. So you just got to go through. Some of these are awesome. Um, let me show you one more, guys, before I go. This is, let me zoom in for this one. All right, so this is Halloween Spirit. There you go, Beetlejuice with the movie coming out and all. They look fantastic. You can actually download the software yourself if you forge. Um, you can do a one-time payment for personal use or you can do a plan for commercial. I've got the one-time use, but to be honest, to get this quality of work takes a lot of skill and practice, which I haven't had time for yet. But check it out. Again, Lofi, Hue Forge, amazing, amazing artwork coming out. So definitely look at that. Okay, everyone, thanks for watching. Don't forget to like, follow, subscribe for really novice entry tips to 3D printing, especially on the Bamboo A1. Um, give me your feedback. If you're interested in seeing something specific, let me know and I'll do my best to create a video for it. Until then, keep watching the shorts of my journey through my Ender 3 V2 all the way to the Bamboo A1s. And I look forward to putting out more content for everyone. Thanks, everyone. Peace. See you soon. Bye.